Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level to Megabase series. So uh, last episode we just got our power, power fixed, and that should last us for quite a while. So uh, so that is extremely extremely nice. Uh, for this episode, let's work towards our science, getting our rocket silo done, and get on with the launching a rocket. So uh, one of the first things I'm just going to do is just add a little what's called radar here so we can see what's going on. And look at this, we have more than enough science going through. So uh, our main bottleneck in terms of uh, research is just that we don't have enough labs. So uh, two things I want to get done. One is setting up uh, more labs and two is just to check if everything's flowing as it should. If you look at our production, some of them are going faster and slower, but uh, yeah, at least some uh, kind of uh, setup has uh, slowed down quite a bit. And right now it looks like it is our um, set right here. And that is again, the steel. So let's just fix all of our throughput issues. One of the ones I'm seeing is, uh, is right here in terms of uh, getting copper down to the places where it's needed, being at our load density structures. So let's just fill in these lines and just get it all the way to the end of our main bus. Let's see, here we go. Let's do a little thing here. Of course, we want to jump one, as we have done so many times before, since uh, we're splitting this way. But other than that, we'll need to do this little thing that we've also done quite a few times, saying output to the right, you'll output to the left, and do this. That should filter in all of our needs. So full build out, hopefully that means that these can run at full speed. At least things are going all the way to the end of the bus now. So what is holding this up? It's still our steel. So um, let's just look at our steel production. Come here, little robots. You are running all over the place. <laughs> so uh, what is holding up the steel? We are getting the inputs. So it's pretty much just iron that's missing going down here, since we don't have enough flowing in. We do have one going here, down to a, a normal iron, and that is kind of where it's still needed. So um, we kind of need to get in one more uh, lane, if you want to sort it out. Or we have to find some more iron some other way. We could be lucky that we might have some over here to the left. Or we can take some just here to the north just to get another line down. So let's just go and grab that while the, um, all of this is working. I think that'll be just fine. I uh, kind of want to get rid of some of this uh, copper we're running around with. We have quite a bit. Uh, let's just fill it into these. That should empty it out somewhat. So time to grab some of the things we need to go all the way down. One of those being, of course, more belts. We can never have too many belts. We have enough undergrounds. We don't have enough miners. So let's just grab a stack of those. That should be fine in terms of just running a line from up here straight down and into our balancer right here. This is almost done anyway, so uh, it is quite, quite needed. Of course, remember to bring some landfill, because I have a feeling that we will need it as soon as we get up there. So let's see here, let's grab some landfill while we go from this area. Hopefully that is enough to hook it up. Let's get some miners that's not working anymore to do a bit of cleaning. That looks good. And then we just need to drag. We have the power poles and it's going directly here. So what if we just drag 
a line from here going down. That should merge in perfectly. So let's just do this. Dragging it all the way up top and just getting this small amount of iron we have. I know we are setting up somewhat of our spaghetti setup, but uh, yeah, as soon as we get our rocket silo done and all the research done, we can uh, start to go into the mega base part of this let's play. Um, I can't remember if I've talked about my plans for the mega base. I kind of want to do one where um, it's mostly supplied by robots, so try to do a fully robotic mega base and see how that goes. I think that could be quite fun and uh, something I don't see that often. Most times people have uh, trains to transport most things, but I kind of want to see oh, how much we can do with just robots. Now, do come what you think about that idea and if it's even possible to do that. And then we will uh, figure out what to do. So let's see here, more speeds. Could just get one to do a bit, but Let's just get our satellite done. Now we just need to place this down. A bit sad that I accidentally uh, used all of our... <laughs> what's it called? Landfill. A bit badly. We could have used it to, uh, to fill up this with uh, what we need. But I think this is going to cover all of the iron anyway, so uh, in that regard, it's not that big of a deal. Let's hook it up right here as well. Yeah, right here we can fit in some of them or just move it down a small amount. Here we are. Here, let's get the rest of these. And one more right here. That should cover all of the iron patches and uh, work wonders as soon as we hook this up. Oh, this one is a bit something you can't reach, but that should otherwise be fine. So you can go this way, hook up, and you can go just down here. And then all of this connects up there. This connects up this way. So now we just need to add some power to it and balance out the things we have. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna drag you down. Want to... You can go in right here. I think most of these could pretty much just go on this one. I don't think we're gonna output that much to be honest. So this should be a good enough solution. So everything's hooked up. We just need to add a bit of power. We need to connect this one up as well. To go in. And then we'll just drag a bit of power down. To the first place we'll find some. Being right here. There we are, let's just check that it starts. Look at our power production, that is fine. And then we should have iron flowing. There we go, everything is hooked up. This one needs a bit of power. So thank God we noticed that before leaving. Since we can't reach, we can do a little sneaky thing like this. Please jump from here to there. And then we can put in a power pole in between looking very good. So that's everything running. That is going to give us not a full red belt, but uh, it is giving us quite a bit. Probably didn't need the balancer, but uh, it looks cool having them. And as a rule of thumb, I normally just set them up to uh, not having to worry about it in the future. So now to jump this into our little setup or just directly into um, into our iron, our steel, sorry. I think that could be very, very good. 
Let's strike you down this way. And then directly into pretty much this, this line. I think that'll be uh, the best solution. So you can jump to here, and then I want you to jump to... Oh, can barely reach. Can you reach from here if we're lucky? We just can't. But then we can do it to here at least. And then we'll just jump or call a bit. And do a nice little merge in here. Of course, taking... Actually, doesn't matter where we take from. I kind of just want to take whatever we have. And that should give us a full red belt going into these. And to be honest, I actually want to do in priority from the right. Since this is going through a balancer and then we'll just throw more into uh, the lines over here. So I think that'll be fine. Might have to move this one a bit. So we can... Uh, Filter the rest into this one if uh, if it doesn't work. And a very, very easy way to do that is just here. Up priority down here. And any excess we have, we will just kind of drag this way and go into this one. There we are. So look at this. Everything's backing up now. That means we have a surplus of everything we need. And that means this one should... Let's see how far down it goes. Hopefully it can reach the end of somewhere around that. That would be quite, quite cool. But uh, yeah, it is at least starting to produce a bit more steel than we were before. So that is good. Now we just need to wait for the steel to, uh, to fill up down the line. Yeah. Let's give this a time to run and see how it uh, stacks up. Should probably upgrade the last few smelters so we don't have to uh, um, have a mismatch of how it produces. Let's just get... Well, that's a stupid way to do it. Let's grab that and those. I think that'll be fine. Then hopefully we can probably check it like this. How many do we have left? We pretty much need oh, only four more. So let's just grab four instead of taking all of them. Go in here. I'll say one, two, three, four. And the rest can go back into this one. So let's go down and set up our... Um, what's it called? Crafting of our report, uh, what's called rocket silo, and what it needs to launch a rocket. We'll also need to set up what's it called um, some productivity modules, since they are quite quite important in terms of uh, getting things up and running. Before we get this one, I kind of want to get this one since uh, that can help us a lot in terms of the setup I want for my future base. That's going to be robot based. So, oh, you're not hooked up at all. That's fine. There we are. So let's go down and see how we can set it up. Of course, this is all temporary. And just our starter base. And when we go into mega base territory, we are gonna do it a bit differently. That is completely fine. So, steel is still our biggest problem. And it seems like it will be that for quite a while still. Yeah, not really anything we can do about it right now. We could, to be honest. Do a double line in here. And um, just get the rest to go here. To get more steel. <laughs> yeah, let's just go fix that. I'll show you a way to do it. Because we do need to do that. And then we'll just expand our steel columns. Can we move it down a bit more? 
we can add on a bit more here and upgrade all of it to red belts to uh, to support it. Could do a second steel column as well, but uh, that might be overkill. How much are we consuming? We're producing 360, six, something like that. But we're only consuming 200. Ain't that a bit strange? Might just have to catch up with uh, all the new production we are currently doing. And that might solve some of the issues we have down here. Yeah. We will let that move uh, work by itself. And then set up what we need. I think that's a more worthwhile uh, endeavor at the moment. So rocket silos. That means we'll have to make some rocket control units. That means we have to make speed modules, and I kind of want to do it here on the side. So um, let's set up some speed modules first. We'll need one line in. We can pretty much do a mixed line in of those. So let's just start it right here. I don't plan on doing any more with these, so or doubling the side because we'll transition into mega base in a few episodes or how many it will be. So let's see here. That lines up. In this one, we we'll like to produce speed modules. They produce one every 15 seconds. This one needs one every 30 seconds, so one can supply two. The processing units will take from the main bus, so our setup will be something like this. One, two, and then pretty much just one here that mixes both of them. Doing here, here. We could move it one to the right. Oh, didn't mean to take you. To go right here. Doing... What's it called? Or, to be honest, we'll probably do this. Move it down to here, do long handed instead, and then jump this one in, or just move it in with a belt, and uh, then grabbing them. So what if we do something like this, and just do it right here, and then output. That means we have process units going in here, it needs just one every 30 seconds, so we can supply what is this? 60 of these, something like that. Yeah, a lot at least. A whole lot. Oh, way more. But that way we'll have everything flowing in that we need. So can we make this modular somehow? So we can just expand it down. Probably need one in between here, here and maybe can we do it somehow to make it look just a bit pretty or do something like that do an input do it right here and then I want one more just like that that does look somewhat modular might want to make it look a bit prettier by doing this, moving uh, this one over to here instead. If that uh, counts as prettier, that is. Then we'll do you and you. And that way we have more than enough power to power all of it. That means we can pretty much copy paste this setup. Uh, to the next area. Let's see, can we do this some way that's better? Because we copied this one, it won't connect up by itself. It will need an underground. So in theory, we could actually just do this to make it look uh, a bit prettier. And then it should be modular. So we can actually take this and just put it down over here. As soon as we do that and that, will that make it very modular? 
it will. So let's try that. And just go with this kind of setup. There's probably some that are a lot better, but uh, this is the one I've designed myself. So let's try and go with that. That's a logistics system. We could actually go directly into this right now, but I kind of want to finish our, uh, our main bus build and launch a rocket without robots. I think that could be quite cool for you guys to see. So um, let's just go with that for now. Have to get a few beacons, might be good. And research a few more things here and there. Um, mm, 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 mm. Anything good? No. Tyler, we could get this one so we can set up nuclear sometime in the future. That will at least solve a lot of our power issues. So, um, yeah, we'll probably look at that in just a little bit. Faster trains, let's just get that out. So we have a small amount researched. Should we do two-sided of this one? Just so we have it. 130 seconds, I think it might be good. Because we will need quite a bit of these to line them up. So what if we just do this, flip it around, add it in right here. Oh, right here, sorry. And then we at least should have most of this uh, hooked up for a second line that can just come in and do the same. And there we are. That should line up nicely. So let's hook up the things we need. One thing we need up here is a mix of red and green uh, belts. Oh, circuits, let's just drag it down so we can uh, get, get it to work. Let's just steal this one first. Here is the green. It'll go all the way down. We'll need two of you. And then where is our red circuits? Let's see how far back they are at the moment. They are right here. So not that hard to get, but it will start to tax our system as soon as we turn this thing on. So two things in. Green, red. On a mix. Let's take our trusty underground and hook them up. That'll be, we could probably do it straight out and just get them in some good way. Because right here is our red. Means you'll just kind of go, oh, flip, turned it the wrong way. You'll just kind of have to go like this. And then we'll just mix in the greens as we come here, doing it on the line instead. So here is the red coming in. Then we'll mix it together with the green. Let's do it on the bus. So we'll have one here and we'll have one here going down this way. So first things first, we'll do that. One further up right here, meaning you will jump to that leaving room for the green to come down this way on that side and the red to just kind of go in right there. Then we'll do some kind of the same setup down here. Luckily, we can pretty much just copy it and do it. Let's remember to do it the same spot right here seems to match so there we go doing a little split there we are and hooking up the rest please go in please hook you up going on both sides and then we can always jump this one down to here of course with the red one now there we are and then we can hook all of this up to 
a nice input right here. Let's do the same up here. So that'll activate this one. That will mean that we'll just need our processing units to go in here to the middle. And that should be good. So let's see how much that's going to tax our system that we're doing this. And then output our rocket control units. You come out this way. Let's get a hold of this one. And then do double inputs. Could take it on one line and just split it into two. But I like to keep my uh, my setups clean. So let's do something like this and add to here and do the same down here. Right there and add it to here. That way we just need to split it off twice going straight in. So saying, yep, that's one of the middle ones right here. You can just split off that way. And let's do the same here. And you'll split off as well. Don't mind the mix belts. It is annoying me a small amount, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be uh, anything that interferes with the production. So let's see if this, uh, this works. Here comes our circuits. That means this should activate. It does, and there we are. Now we are producing rocket control units. Means we have load into structures, we have rock control units. Now we just need the rocket fuel. And since we have light oil on the main bus, making our solid fuel, which is pretty much the same one, might as well. I think that is the most efficient one to do. The one with the light oil. 2010 splitting into 30. Yeah. So um, I'm quite sure solid fuel is the most efficient one. If not, do give me a comment explaining why I'm wrong. And there is many reasons why that might be the case. So let's see here. Pretty much just need to drag the light all down. And then we are ready to set up a solid fuel. And let's go grab that and some uh, different things from my mall. But look at all this, it's all working. No issues at all to see. Oh no, robots just taking off trying to build things. <laughs> These are all working as well. Some of them are probably backing up now. They are because things are filling up. Oh, here are some more. So let's see, let's grab long handed. Let's grab some fast ones. And let's grab these, that. That should be good. Power poles, there we are. And let's grab you. And of course, remember to grab ourselves some, uh, some of these. That should be fine in terms of setting up rocket fuel and setting up rocket fuel will probably be one of the last things this episode. I think that'll be uh, be quite, quite uh, useful to get done. So let's go all the way back down here. Hopefully I've uh, remembered all my things. There we are. And they are quite, quite slow at making, so I'm quite glad we did this, this on both sides. So uh, things can run as intended. Yeah, good, good, good. This is looking quite nice. Green circuits. Oh, forgot to hook this one up. There we go. And to be honest, 
I'll rather wait with our what's called rocket fuel for the next episode since that will take a little bit of designing to set up. Not a hard design, but uh, there are some ratios we have to think about. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, you'll give me a like, subscribe. It means the world to me, even though it might not do it for you. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I've been D Grey, and I'll see you next episode. Bye, guys.